Hi everyone, I'm Mark Pace. And I'm Ashton Pace. And today we're going to go um, behind the scenes at a BMX race event at the Castle Hill Open. And just show you guys what it's all about at a race meet. See you there. Okay, so for staging, we normally get the kids from the pet. We read out the names. Hi, my name's And we put them in the race orders through the chutes, and they stay in that way. So on the list here, this is one race, yeah? Yep, that's correct. Okay, and so that one race will be that one row? Correct. Okay, so what happens if there's no rider here? If there's no rider here, we call them once. We go through the list again, we call them twice. We call them three times and that's it, they become a did not start. Wow, okay, we don't want that to happen, do we? No, we don't All want right. that to happen and we All try our best not to make that happen. And are they cheeky? Oh, they can be cheeky, definitely. Yeah. All right. I'm All right. Cheeky. Are you cheeky? <laughs> yeah. I'm Thanks, Elise. Yeah, look at that. Fred, Fred's our gate starter today for the event, and this is how the gate works. So we'll start you off from the start, Mark. We've got to bring the gate up. We just press one button, the gate comes up. Your riders will move onto the gate. We'll wait for the officials on the track to say that we're ready for racing. And then all we do is hit our false start. Yeah. Two beeps. Hold the green button, and then racing's away. That's mad. Alright, that way people get to see how it all works. That's awesome. Thanks, Fred. Hey guys. Well, I can, I might be able to help you. So, Grant's wide up to the score sheet. Yeah. So anything that comes through, if there's a, an issue with a rider, issue with a transponder, comes through the grant, therefore he makes an announcement, yep. like he's doing right now. We've got a bit of mix and board over here for our music, so we can fade music in and out so how do you, between races. So how do you get all the riders when they're coming around? So, okay, you just call their name, so you look at yeah, the race plate the as they're coming down, that, yeah, it. and then, um, but basically all the top riders, you really know their names, wouldn't you? Know you know the top riders, you know the team riders. Uh, you're getting to know most of the riders yeah. until uh, the new year and they get well, new gear. Uh, very exciting to have uh, so many people. We went from something like 60 pet sites to over 90, so uh, it's a lot more capacity for riders than uh, the spectators. Uh, I've got three ranks, yeah, the two in retro, the, uh, five in 20 inch and three in cruiser. Uh, Alright Michael, I just want to ask you a question. How long do the videos take to make? Uh, probably about three or four hours editing. And, and that's for all the classes? Yeah, everything. Okay. And does anyone help you? Um, yeah, I'll get up, get up, use some records for me because I'm racing. So. Yeah. so thank you Michael for creating all our memories. Thank you Ashton. Yeah. Uh, I am with Alex Cameron here. What is your current rank? Uh, national number one elite man. What are your sponsors? Uh, sponsors are Krupi, Crank It, um, Cranked Protein, uh, Lucky Bling, and Planet Race Gear. And who inspires you? Uh, who inspires me? Probably Sean Dwight. And what is in your lunchbox today? Oh, do you want to have a look? Yeah, let's have a look, Ashton. All right. We've got bananas, uh, I've got two cans of tuna, and I've got a bag of lollies. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
For me personally, the Olympics has always been something that I really wanted to do. So um, obviously this year, uh, 2016 Rio, um, yeah, definitely a goal. But 2020 in Tokyo, that's a big one that I'm really aiming for. And what is your favorite food? Uh, I like all sorts of food, but probably recently I've really liked Mexican food. I like my tacos and my... Uh, my I recently just went over to Argentina and Manchester for rounds one and two of the Supercross rounds. Um, I just go over there to get a bit more experience racing the older guys because they don't give you any room. Um, and me being junior will just make me a lot more comfortable when I'm back in my own age class, hopefully, for the world titles in Colombia. So it's just get experience, really, yeah. get feel for it. And who? Who inspires you, yeah, Andy? Who inspires you? Um, well, my mum and dad at the moment, but uh, Luke McGill, my coach, he inspires me. I want to do all the things he did, try and get to the Olympics, and he's a super role model and mentor for me through my BMX, and uh, yeah, Luke McGill's probably the biggest one. Uh, well, with the Olympics, it's a little bit different than any smaller amount of riders. So, pretty much you start with the quarterfinals. There's only 32 riders, so racing's a lot closer now. Unfortunately, I had uh, two crashes straight away, and then a third place. So the points weren't enough to get me through to the finals. So are you now um, going to be the coach for the Australian Olympic team? No, so I'm the coach of the uh, Development Academy. So okay. they're the riders trying to get into the Olympic team, uh, yep. into the high performance team. So the high performance team is run by Cycling Australia and they've got their own coaches. Okay. So uh, hopefully, yeah, in the future, I'll be able to get these developing riders into the, uh, into the Olympics and then yep. also myself hopefully up there as uh, one of the coaches as well. Mad. So where, where can you see the sport going? Uh, hopefully it keeps moving forward, it's growing all the time, so I mean the Olympics has definitely helped us get some recognition, uh, hopefully now we get uh, a little bit more sponsorship backing behind us, some more TV coverage and uh, yeah we sort of make it on, uh, on the mainstream. So I don't think people really know but Olympics for BMX mightn't be around after the 2016, like we only got a three year slot. Uh, didn't we? Yeah, at this stage we're pretty healthy as far as, you know, it's one of the most uh, popular sports. It's in the top four um, of the most watched sports at the Olympics, so in that way it's safe. Freestyle BMX is actually coming in soon, so Man. that might, uh, you know, cause a little bit of a, a stir up in there. But no, at this, at this stage everyone's pretty happy with BMX and what it's sort of brought to the okay. Olympics. But we only got a, like a four year slot, didn't we? Yeah, so no, but we're definitely already signed up for 2020. Okay, so, Man. Yeah, at this stage we're all so, good. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Luke. No worries. Yeah. 